Yes, I know I'm such a Jer Falcons lover, but honestly, this might be the strongest it has ever been. Mako's Buck here, and today let's put together my new favorite Hunter build. Roaming Supers recently got a massive PvE buff where they are now recharging three times faster than previous, and they got a 30 to 55% buff to champions depending on which super is being used. With that said, let's kick this build off with our exotic class item, and that is going to be Spirit of the Galanor, Super Hits Return Super Energy, and Spirit of the Jer Falcon gain volatile rounds after being invisible. We are obviously pairing this new amazing buff to roaming supers with Spirit of the Galanor to be able to spam your super at an insane rate. And since we're also using Spirit of the Jer Falcon, I guess it's a good time to talk about our exotic weapon pairing, and that's going to be Choir of One. Choir of One is an exotic AR that dishes out void damage and uses special ammo. Choir comes with the exotic perk command frame, fires extended range heavy caliber projectiles at a reduced rate of fire. When aiming down sights, deals increased precision damage and hip firing this weapon launches multiple projectiles at once in a slower moving spread pattern. Projectiles detonate on impact, rapid final blows cause targets to explode into a pool of radiolarian fluid. This weapon is an amazing pairing with Spirit of the Jer Falcon for a run and gun hip fire playstyle that easily clears out enemies or dishing out DPS when ADSing on bosses. Choir of One is obtained from the Encore Overture exotic mission that was introduced during Act 2 of Episode Echoes. It is a craftable weapon after completing some puzzles in the exotic mission you're going to want to craft this weapon with Onslaught, Short Action Stock for plus 15 handling, Flared Magwell, and Arrowhead Break for 100 recoil direction and handling. Now that we have both of our exotics out of the way, let's get into our subclass setup and we will be going with Prismatic Hunter on the Silk Strike Strand Super. Abilities will be Gambler's Dodge, Triple Jump, Snare Bomb, and Grenade is preference, but I recommend either Grapple or Dusk Field. Our aspects will be Stylish Executioner, defeating a target affected by any elemental debuff, grants invisibility, and true sight. We are obviously using this to keep our Jer Falcon constantly rolling as long as enemies are around. Our other aspect will be Ascension for the Burst Jolt, which also turns you invisible and amplifies you. Fragments will be Facet of Balance, rapidly defeating targets with light damage grants melee energy, and rapidly defeating enemies with darkness damage grants grenade energy. Facet of Hope, while you have an elemental buff, your class ability regenerates more quickly. This combination of Facet of Balance and Facet of Hope with solid stat distribution really makes it feel like you're running Heart of Inmost Light without having to. Facet of Awakening, rapidly defeating targets with light or darkness damage or super final blows generates an elemental pickup of the matching damage type. This means that your grapple and super will generate tangles and your choir of one kills will generate void breaches. Facet of Purpose, picking up an orb of power will grant you woven mail since you are on silk strike. And lastly, Facet of Protection, while surrounded by combatants you are more resistant to incoming damage while transcendent the effect is increased. Now that our subclass is set up, let's mod our gear, starting with the helmet, and that will be Font of Wisdom. Picking up an Orb of Power will grant you plus 30 intellect during the duration of your armor charge. Now, if you can run 100 intellect, you won't need this, but I recommend running Font of Wisdom with 70 intellect, so you will be at 100 intellect when you pick up an orb. Also on the helmet will be Void Siphon. Rapid Void Kills will generate an Orb of Power and Special Ammo Finder. The arms will be Void Loader so you can reload Choir of One quicker, Bolstering Detonation grants class ability energy when you cause damage with a grenade, and Momentum Transfer causing damage with your grenade reduces your melee cooldown. This ties into being able to spam your abilities more to keep up invisibility. Moving on to the chest and for general play, you will use melee damage resistance and concussive dampener. Any other resistances you would want to swap out to match the type of enemies you are fighting. Your legs will be recuperation, picking up an orb of power replenishes health, insulation reduces class ability cooldown when you pick up an orb of power, and stacks on stacks, picking up an orb of power grants you one additional armor charge. And lastly, the cloak will be time dilation to extend the duration of your armor charge and special finisher to generate more choir of one ammo. If you are not using font of wisdom, you can also use double utility kickstart here as well. Your stat goals to pair with these mods will be 100 resilience for max damage reduction, 100 discipline, and 70 intellect. Now that the build is almost fully set up, all we have to go over is our kinetic and heavy weapons. I'd like to say kinetic slot is preference, but there's one thing that can take this over the top, and that is the Attrition Orb's Kinetic Tremors role of Multimach. 
Don't worry, you don't even need to play Iron Banner to get it. You can head over to Banshee right now and grab this roll for free. I recommend modding it with Special Ammo Finder or Synergy. This thing really plays into the how many supers can I pop per activity as attrition orbs will have you spitting out a ton of orbs. Just don't mod your weapon with backup mag as the bigger the mag, the less orbs you'll pop out. Your heavy option truly is preference and situational to the activity you're doing. However, Banshee is also giving away the best DPS heavy in the game right now, so I'd highly recommend using that. It is the VS Chill Inhibitor with Spike Nades, Envious Arsenal, and Bait and Switch. Your DPS rotation for this build will be Shoot the Boss with Multimock until you see Kinetic Tremors proc, Shoot Choir of One, Mag Dump with your Grenade Launcher, and Repeat. Bonus points if you hit the boss with Snare Bomb prior. If you run out of your GL shots, ADS Fire Choir of One for the increased precision damage. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn those notifications on. See you next time.